morning guys! Good morning, Adil! Rainy morning dito sa Uganda. And because uh, the shop is a bit quiet this morning and I already loaded the car, uh, the truck to start selling, I decided to sell a little bit in my car and also get some fuel. So there's this strategy that uh, I want, I've been doing that every time I add fuel in my car, which is around um, two, three kilometers away from my shop, I load my car with some things that we can sell like those ones. And then we stop in small, small shops like those ones on the road by the highway and we sell to them some items. And we also talk to them about our shop, what's inside our shop and what are the products that we sell. Of course, it's, um, it's, it's good use of my time and also since they are on my way it's uh it's a good thing to do we might do some sales and you know we can get some resellers so anyway this morning i want to vlog because other than a very busy morning and productive morning already for me i would like the kids to have an experience of uh, this crocodile farm close to my shop they are staying nearby uh, right now because they are having holiday as you can see on our previous videos I'm doing the farm uh, episodes it's not far from my shop where we are staying at the moment and um, there's an attraction nearby it's called crocodile farm I want my kids I, I would like my kids to see and experience and know what's happening in that farm even myself I have not been there so this is the plan. So here's the plan. I'm going to pick them up. I'm going to ask my driver to pick them up from the farm while I wait for them in the shop. And then um, we will go together to that crocodile farm, uh, see what we can do there, maybe learn some facts about crocodiles and those baby crocodiles, what they eat, how are they taken care of, and I can see, I'm thinking maybe they'll give the kids an experience to touch the baby crocodiles. That would be a really good experience for them. And of course, we will have our lunch from there. Um, no, if you are asking if we are going to eat crocodile meat, no, we are not going to eat crocodile meat. <laughs> and I am not also interested. I find it scary. So yeah, I am very excited and looking forward for this day. All right. Um... A lot of you guys has been asking in our YouTube episodes. You guys are commenting down there. We are very appreciative. And some of you have questions that I tried to answer. I wish my answers were enough. Um, anyway, if you need to know more, I would love to do more episodes about any questions, any questions that you have regarding our life here in Uganda as a Filipino family or Filipino Ugandan family. I can I can hear my kids they have arrived. Now it's time to go to the crocodile farm. Let's go. Hello, we are here. <laughs> you look like sardines. Okay, we have reached at Crocodile Farm here at Buama Town and we just paid the entrance fees. So for foreigners like me, we pay 10,000 Ugandan shillings and then locals pay 5,000 and the kids pay 2,000 each. So it's actually affordable, not bad, but let's see what value we can see inside, um, the activities inside and what amenities they have for families. Okay, we are now inside of the crocodile farm with all the kids and we are all looking forward to what activities they can do here. And of course, I want to make reviews of their food and their services. Now, let's go! In our camp, 
Thank you. At first, I welcome you. Thank because you. Because wish the farm good. Eh? Yes, yeah. of course. I'm Joel, one of the guys around. We have restaurant in our farm here. We have cottages. We have crocodile. Our crocodile, they are up this way in the ponds. Eh? You we, don't have tent. We, we have tent, but if you have your tent, uh, we will allow you. Okay, yeah. that's good. We we'll just check you the... The, 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 the area. area. Yeah, the, the carping site. Yeah. Camping yeah. site. Yeah. Okay guys, so far the service is very good. They are very welcoming and the first thing they do is you they welcome you and they tell you what are the things you can do here at Crocodile Farm. So he informed us that we can move around freely and they have this uh, part of the lake but they call it a beach. So you can go by the beach and enjoy, just chill. You can also move around. Have a lot of animals, as I can see, they have goats. They even have crested crane. That's amazing because my kids uh, rarely see is crested crane, so they are happy. And at the pond, they have the crocodile, the big ones, and the baby ones. Also, they have a restaurant that prepares food. So as we are waiting for the food to be ready, I'm going to move around with the kids and the tour guide is going to explain for us about the whole setup of Crocodile Farm. So if you want to know more about this video, of course, stay with us and keep on watching. We will go there. Come on, let's see some sexy ones. Hello guys, now we're in, we're in Camp Crocs, which is like a crocodile farm. The cockroaches look so nice, and there's and there's a dog which looks like a statue. It's it's just so amazing. Those are the fish that in the age we slaughter. That size. Yes. That's That's size. So this is the perfect size to slaughter. Yeah. Mm. So right now when they are moving, they are not moving right like that. Does it mean they are sleeping? They are not sleeping. Mm. The crocodile pretend to be dormant, mm. but when he very sensitive. And what's the difference between crocodile and alligator? An alligator. I know. Mm -hmm. My goodness, I already learned a lot in less than 30 minutes, you guys, about crocodile. When they eat, they just automatically swallow. Unlike the alligator, that they have tongues. Right, Kahil? Yeah. Are you learning? What did you learn so far? For me, I also learned that baby crocodile. The small crocodiles stay in the shade. They don't need much water, so they only have enough water in the belly. Mm -hmm. And the uh, belly is the one that's important, not the back. It's useless. Yes, when it comes to skin harvesting, the back skin of a crocodile, they are useless. What they use is the skin from the belly for making those products like shoes and bags and anything else, like those jackets for fashion and they send them to South Korea. Where are we going right now? We're going to go somewhere in the shed and then he's going to jump in a pond and get a baby crocodile. We're going to feel how it is and hold one, actually one. Exactly, are you looking forward to it? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. It's amazing, come we go. He's now catching a baby crocodile for us to touch. So let's see the whole process. <coughs> <laughs> yes. It was so yes. intense. What that... was intense? I just saw him. I just try saw to... our uncle. Try to our catch. Uncle try to catch the crocodile. Was he successful? Stick. Yeah, and the crocodile was like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. From the top. This is the belly skin, which is most important. We are exporting this belly skin okay. for many products: mm -hmm. shoes, bags, wallets. 
and every other every material. Every other leather. Yeah, from its skin. Like your belt. Because it's expensive. Yeah. Here in Uganda to manufacture it. Okay. We are taking South Korea. Yes. So the base, the back skin is mm. rough and hard. Yes. So it's useless. Mm. When we are cutting, we cut here at the neck. Yeah. After cutting, we pierce a wire to disconnect the vessels. Mm. Then we do skinning. Mm. When you just cut and you don't pierce the wire, the wire mm. it still bites you. Mm. So we cut. We pierce the wire on the this bar, this, uh, the spinal, the spinal cord, yeah. disconnect those vessels, mm. and then it dies. After yeah. we mm. do skinning, mm. after skinning we do salting. Yes, such that it doesn't rot. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the then the after product. sending it to South Korea, yeah. what happens then? The new manufacturer. So products. so South Korea is buying the skin from just, you. Yes, they are just buying. Oh. Okay. I'm done. That's it. Uh -huh. That's it. Kahil, go. Mm. Like that. Kahil, don't leave it, okay? Yeah. You look the other side. Look this way, take pictures. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, my. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't feel bad. Yeah, that, yeah. Yeah. I told you what happened. That is like a dragon. I'm holding a, a dragon, up, up, finally. Up, mm. extend it up like that. Don't let it open. I'm not so tight. Eh? This is amazing. It actually doesn't feel weird. But this is the first time I had experience holding a baby crocodile. Experience. Finally, I get to touch a, a reptile. I've been searching for living dragons and nothing. And it feels like a dragon, yes, isn't it? At the, the back. Scales. Yes. <laughs> My research is done. All right, let's go eat. Okay. Yeah, let's wash our hands first. Okay. All right. Let's go, let's go. Do you see those flowers in the tree? Yeah. They're very nice. All right. Can you climb up? Yeah. Can you do it? Yeah. Let me see. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Look at you. You're very strong. Wow. They also have toilet big enough, I think, for the guests, of course. There's female and male. And I'm just going to wash my hands from holding the crocodile. So we have finally done our crocodile tour. And it was amazing guys it's really worth it the entrance fee is already worth it and i find it like uh, i don't have to complain for the entrance fees because at least it can help to uh, maintain this place with how beautiful it is right now to attract more tourists and even locals everyone should see this place this is for me i think they have not marketed it enough but um, I will be sharing photos and of course this episode so people will know what's here at Crocodile Farm Buam. And of course as you can see it's a very refreshing place. Let me just stand up so you can see what's behind me other than the part of the lake which is here. Uh, they also have that space where you can sit down closer to the lake. It's quite hot right now so we chose to sit under the tree. And um, what's wrong my love? Mm -hmm. We will eat. The chicken is coming, okay? okay. Mm, be patient, okay? okay. Mm, thank you. Thank you. Alright, about their accommodations here at Crocodile Farm. As you can see behind me, they have this wonderful cottages that feel so, uh, so cozy. By the way, guys, they are not expensive. A night is costing 120 Ugandan shillings. For me, I feel like that is very affordable considering how nice the place is and how refreshing and relaxing the, the 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 environment is so the only thing is you have to call them in advance i'm going to put the contact number down below in the comment section for you guys or even in the description box below so you can see the contact number of this crocodile farm uh buama so um if you want to have a sneak peek of their rooms come let's take a look inside So to have a sneak peek of their room, this is how it looks inside, as you can see. I don't want to go inside, but just check. I told you we are going back to the shop. They serve here their crocodile cutlets at 25,000. 
All right, we have finished our adventure here at Crocodile Farm. I am so happy we went. It was amazing experience. Everything was great. Mm, the food is not bad. Um, the price is also affordable, right, Kalbi? No. No? Oh. <laughs> so now I have to go back to my shop because I only left for a few hours. Guys, like I said, it was amazing and i did not regret coming here and planned but it was very successful i hope you learned a lot in this episode if you have any questions about this crocodile farm farm in buwama don't hesitate to comment them down below or you can actually look for me in facebook uh, my name is yiga ventures and we can talk from there as well thank you guys for watching and thank you for always supporting our youtube channel our youtube videos and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!